Before we get started, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment on our channel for more interesting videos. Aloe vera juice. The aloe vera leaves are harvested by hand. The plant itself is not harvested. It is only the outer leaves which are separated from the plant with a certain and precise cut. About every two months, three or four leaves of a plant can be taken. Each leaf weighs in approximately one pound, and at least 12 leaves have to remain in the plant to ensure that one plant can be repeatedly harvested over a period of eight to 10 years. A decisive difference during the production of aloe vera gel or juice is if the whole leaf is used or just the inside, the gel. This is important because the leaf is composed of three layers. Layer one, the leaf rind. Layer 2, a layer with yellow bitter juice, and layer C, the leaf's marrow. The second layer, the yellow juice, contains alloin, which is a metan. Both have strong laxative effects, which is commonly known in pharmaceuticals. As this element is usually undesired, it is important that the aloe vera leaves are peeled and that only the inner marrow is used. After harvest, the leaves are mechanically washed using a patent process that strips the outer husk. Today, this process can be done in such a hygienic fashion that no yeast or bacteria can get detected anymore. All that remains is the clear gel containing the soothing components of aloe vera. This gel is collected in rust-free tanks directly at the plantation for reasons of stabilization. In order to maintain the strength of the active ingredients of the gel, it is imperative that the processing steps are completed within short periods of time. It has been proven that the active ingredients rapidly deteriorate and lose their quality after a period of only six hours. This is due to oxidization. The aloe vera gel must be stabilized in order to keep it as fresh as when it was first extracted from the leaf. During the stabilization process, it is important that the gel is not exposed to excessive heat or aggressive chemicals, as this would destroy the gel's original components. Neither pasteurization nor radiation evaporation or drying has delivered satisfactory results. In the meantime, however, patented procedures are available through which we can make products with a potency that is very close to that of the fresh plant.